just for reference sake, I did save a few screenshots from Weather Underground just before this series of cold days began. And on Friday, December 23rd, I was anticipating a low of 9 degrees Fahrenheit and then going into Christmas Eve morning and Christmas Day, the temperatures would rise from the teens into the low 20s as lows. Finally, by the following Wednesday, I would describe this as typical uh, winter. So looking at the uh, weather station data from Saturday morning, Christmas Eve, it is confirming forecast of 8 and 9 degrees generally throughout Gaston County, where I live. But keep in mind, these weather stations are five or six feet above the ground where they measure the temperature. So cold air sinks and the temperature in the grass could be a degree or two colder than this. And that's what I was finding with my hand thermometer as I walked around in the yard and explored different corners. Notice also the next county north of me, there were some four and five degree uh, recordings uh, even on the weather station data. So uh, it was definitely colder than average. In a typical winter, the lowest temperatures I would see are about 18 or 19 Fahrenheit, and we certainly got at least 10 degrees colder than that. So the lesson here is when you see a forecast with exceptionally cold weather coming, take it seriously and prepare for it thoroughly. Today is December 30, 2022. It's a pleasant day out here cloudy but warm enough for me to walk around without my coat. I'll describe the condition of these trees uh, after I have uncovered them and removed all the water jugs. Along the wall I have some potted trees and uh, remember last year I could put seedlings in my shed and that would be sufficient to protect them but I remember checking my thermometer and finding it at 20 degrees on the coldest day, and that is beyond the capability of seedlings. So these may be good for nothing more than leaf mulch now. However, my nursery varieties are in good condition. This is the Brogdon, which is a South Florida variety, and I should not expect good results in my climate. So the lights and the water and the covering help this tree come through uh, all those days and um, there's a little bit of brown here and there but I think some of that was already present when I stowed the tree. The Leela is similar. I'll keep the lights in it in case I need them again and you can see a little bit of brown that was formed because of the heat of a bulb uh, too close to leaves, but clearly I was better off to keep the plants heated than to let them experience uh, the full might of those cold nights. And I have some more seedlings here against the wall. These were um, actually parked with the nursery varieties, so I think they may have taken too much damage before I covered them because they were already suffering some during November and December. I'm inclined to believe the genetic background of those grocery store seeds were just not anywhere in the realm of what I needed. And I think that fits with the heart of what this channel was originally intended to show people is I see these comments sometimes from someone in the local area and they'll say, well, I've grown this plant from seed. Do you think I could put it outside? I'd say pretty unlikely. I'm trying to grow plants that might at least develop some vascular structure to handle some cold days. And if you have a avocado that you grew from seed and it's always been in a greenhouse, it's very unlikely to live outdoors. I do have one seedling that has some green remaining and it was parked immediately behind those two nursery varieties and the heat source. So that gives you an idea of what it takes to keep a plant alive here. Okay, so that should close out 2022, and uh, as I proceed into the winter, I'll post more updates, and hopefully next spring, i uh, get some additional nursery varieties.